Well, hello, friends. Happy day, oh, happy day. Who's ready for another video? So today, oh, here she comes. Are you camera ready? That hair is a little wild, child. What you eating? Some yogurt? Yeah. Yogurt stick? This is our favorite thing to do. We take these little yogurt sticks and stick them in the freezer, and then uh, it's frozen. And then it's frozen yogurt. Anyway, so today, as you can see by the title and description of this video, we are gonna be talking about all things seeds. Ella is gonna be having her own garden as well this year. She's super excited. So we're gonna do a different video series where it's all gonna be about Ella's garden and she's gonna be responsible for it. She's gonna, she's gonna till it up. She's gotta plant and she's gotta water. So, and she's got a list of what she wants to grow she helped pick out her own varieties. Just to give you reference, Ella is six years old. She's been in the garden with me since she was three, which is when we about started to really dabble in the gardening scene. I'm also going to share with you a couple of seed storage options. I'm gonna show you what I was doing before and how I've kind of upgraded. And then this year, hey. And I lost two Stop. My seed collection is growing the, uh, the storage system in of which I have been using is no longer sufficient. So, let's just jump right into it. What do you say? Are you ready, Freddie? Okay, Ella, do you just wanna share what you're gonna plant in your garden? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can just tell them what you're gonna be planting in your garden. Um, sunflowers, strawberries, peppers, holly hops. Good job. So, we gotta get her some holly hops because I thought I had ordered some, but I guess I didn't. So the main thing is you want to be able to keep them dry and dark. So one thing that I do is I just use like some kind of tape or washi tape. Some people just fold it down, uh, but I just put a little piece of tape over it just to keep it sealed because you don't want any moisture or anything to get in there on your seeds because it'll make them sprout or turn moldy. This is what I used to keep them in when I first started out. It's just a little plastic container. It comes with a lid that I got from, I think, Target. And um, this is what I would keep my seeds in. And then as my inventory grew, I upgraded to a bigger box. So this is what I then started keeping them in. And I kept uh, index cards in here for notes. I would put like just different things in here. Um, these are seeds that we saved from a local farm that we took. This was our little garden plan that we made. So then I upgraded to that. This year we decided it was time to really upgrade because I mean, look at this. That's a lot of seeds. And I am all about organization and keeping things together and everything has a place and everything in its place. And so this year we kind of, in, I say invested, it's not a ton. I know for some it could be a ton, but it did take a lot for me to finally like pull the trigger and do it. It's about $40. I'll put a link in the description below. Watch out sis. And I actually saw another YouTuber, YouTuber that I watched recommended these. And so what they are, it's these plastic containers, it comes with two of them. Inside, photo holders, um, I believe that's what it's for. It's like part of the scrapbooking and it's for photos. But anyway, it fits seed packets in here perfectly. And then it can be inventoried, it comes with 32. They're very uh, sturdy, good type of plastic. And what I will do is I will take my label maker and probably put a label just on here. That way I know what's in here, but then it allows it to be easily accessible. That's the plan for the seeds. So there you have it. I would love to know what your storage solution is for seeds. If you have a ton, like what you use, I would love to hear what you're growing this spring. I would love to know what your favorite varieties. I'm still so new to doing all of these different varieties. When we first started gardening and I was looking, I was like, oh, parsley's not just parsley. Like there's two different types of parsley. <laughs> You go to the grocery store and you get green beans. And so you think when you go to grow, you're just gonna grow green beans. Oh, but there's 500,000 different types of green beans. That's an exaggeration. But who knew that there was like 14 different types of broccoli and all these, so many different types of onions. And like I thought a sunflower was just a sunflower. Who knew that there were so many different types of sunflowers, but. It's been so much fun to see all the different varieties and I love watching other YouTubers and seeing what they're growing because it kind of helps us to know that as well. Okay, so that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see you later. Peace out.
Say bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. We're going. You can't touch the button. You can't touch the button. You can't touch the button.